and Mark McAllister near Young and Eglinton, where at least 100 protesters are standing by outside MP Carolyn Bennett's office right now, joining climate and indigenous rights uh, protesters from across the country in trying to make a point about what's happening right across Canada. They ended up both inside and outside Bennett's office here near Young and Eglinton. Benefit Bennett obviously is the current Minister of Crown and Indigenous Affairs. Now this whole protest started at Eglinton Park and the protesters with their messages of support after others had occupied Bennett's office earlier in the day. The movement led by Climate Action Toronto is in solidarity with the Wet'suwet'en First Nation in north central BC who have been protesting the coastal gasoline pipeline. We are actually joining a lot of people around the world, around the country. You know, there's Indigenous youth who are occupying for their third or fourth day in a row the front steps of BC Legislature. There are people who are blocking rails, and we are just this group in Toronto who wants to make sure that we let Carolyn Bennett and everyone in the administration federally and provincially know that we have their eyes on them, we have our eyes on what's wet, and we do not uh, plan on stopping until this colonial violence and this colonial invasion also stops. Self-titled land defenders have said Coastal Gas Link doesn't have the support of hereditary chiefs to build the line despite the company getting approvals from a number of indigenous groups along the proposed path. Now, today in Vancouver, more than 30 people arrested outside the city's main port. Vancouver police say they gave protesters several requests to leave and gave warnings before detaining demonstrators who say they were violating an injunction issued last night. The protests blocked access to the Vancouver port for days, but it appears the standoff is now over. Another 14 people were arrested at the nearby Delta port. Closer to home, protests continue to block trains and train tracks near Belleville, meaning all via rail trains traveling between Toronto and Ottawa and Toronto and Montreal have been cancelled for the fourth day in a row. Canadian National Railway traffic is also affected by the blockade. CN has an injunction to remove protesters, but the Ontario Provincial Police say they are hoping for a peaceful resolution. Now, Via Rail says they have been in touch with customers and they will continue to be as long as their service is interrupted and they'll be updating that information on their website and through their social media channels. As for this protest going on right now, the protesters have just said they plan on staying here as long as they possibly can. Of course, Bennett's office is also occupied as we speak. We can tell you right now that there are at least a dozen Toronto police officers on hand should anything Get out of hands.